Hello everyone, my name is Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel, Have You Heard, the ultimate destination for demystifying complex technical terms. On this channel, we break down overwhelming technical terms into simple language that anyone can understand. Whether you are a tech enthusiast, a beginner, or simply curious, we have got you covered. If you are a student of artificial intelligence, you have surely heard about Turing Test and Chinese Room Argument. In this video, let's understand what they are. Turing Test and Chinese Room are two popular tests for determining the intelligence of a machine. The basic idea is that, whether we can distinguish between a real human and some object that acts like a human, let us start with the Alan Turing test. The Turing test was a test proposed by British mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing in 1950, as a measure of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior that is indistinguishable from that of a human. Imagine you have two rooms, one with a human, and the other with a computer. You, as the tester, cannot see them, and your goal is to figure out which room has the human, and which one has the computer pretending to be a human. The only means of communication is a screen and a keyboard. The main purpose of the Turing test is to assess whether a computer or artificial intelligence system can convincingly mimic human-like responses in a conversation. To do this, you can ask them questions, like, what's your favorite color, or, tell me a joke. If you cannot tell which is the human, and which is the computer, just by talking to them, then the computer passed the Turing test, and can act like a human. But people argue that, just because an object or a computer, can simulate having a mind to a degree good enough to fool a human, does not imply that, this object has a mind. Now, let us move on to the Chinese room argument. The Chinese room argument is a famous thought experiment, proposed by philosopher John Searle in 1980 to challenge the idea, that a computer can truly understand or have consciousness. The term, Chinese, in the Chinese room argument is not meant, to single out the Chinese language. Instead, it is a hypothetical scenario, that could involve any language other than the native language of the person, inside the room. The choice of, Chinese, in the name is purely arbitrary, and was used by philosopher John Searle, to illustrate the concept more effectively. Searle attempts to show that a real mind has something, that, the object, or computer does not. That's something, being understanding or comprehension. As an example, he chooses language comprehension. In the Chinese room argument, imagine, there is a person inside a closed room who does not understand Chinese at all. The person is given a rule book written in their own language, let us say English, that provides instructions on how to respond to written Chinese questions with appropriate Chinese answers. The person inside the room, follows these rules meticulously without understanding a single word of Chinese. He receives some text on his screen, looks up in the rule book how he is supposed to react, and then types whatever the rule says, on the keyboard and sends some text back. If the person follows the instructions perfectly, he could answer any Chinese question correctly, even though he do not understand a word of Chinese. This is like how some computers can give smart answers without understanding what they are saying, they are just following instructions, like the person in the room. The key idea of the Chinese room argument is that although the person inside the room can produce accurate Chinese responses, they do not genuinely understand Chinese. Instead, he is just following instructions blindly, like a computer executing a program. Thus, the argument challenges the idea that, mere rule following, or, computation can be equivalent to genuine understanding or consciousness. The Chinese room argument questions, whether even the most advanced AI systems, such as language models like GPT, truly, understand, the meaning of language, or are merely processing information based on predefined rules and patterns. It raises deep philosophical questions about the nature of consciousness, understanding, and the limits of artificial intelligence. In a broader sense, Searle argues that human minds cannot be simulated by any computer system like object. This is of course a very strong claim indeed, which has led to a great many objections to this argument. 
In the end I would like to say, that the Alan Turing test is like a game, to see, if a computer can act like a human, while on the other hand the Chinese room argument questions, whether a computer truly understands, what it is saying, or just following instructions. Thank you. If you liked it, please hit the like button and for more such content, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Please mention in the comment section below, if you would like me to make a video on any such topic. Thank you for watching the video, see you in the next, till then bye.